Hi everyone, Marguerite here. I'm working on a collaboration with Meg from Meg's Journals. It is for her Junk Journal July event where every single day there is a prompt to get you, give you some ideas, direction of where you might want to create with your junk journal every day for the month of July. My prompt is postcard. And what I want to do is create a postcard using papers or in a similar style to this junk journal here. This junk journal is created with some papers from a kit called Gentlemen and Scholars. It's from Ephemeris Vintage Garden. And I wanna keep with this theme, kind of science and um, also exploration. I have some really pretty postcards. So I kinda of wanna stick with this theme and create a postcard. And then I am going to mail the postcard to myself. Once it comes through the mail, I am going to add it into my junk journal anywhere and any of the pages that I want. Okay, so this is the theme. So I will set that aside. Now I've got a postcard. This paper is a file folder. So it's kind of manila colored file folder. It's a little bit on the thicker side. So if you imagine going to a store and you pick up a postcard, you want it to be, you know, slightly thicker than an ordinary piece of paper. It basically needs to stand up through going through the postal system. So I'm going to collage on both sides. Now I am, have found some papers that I, I think will work in this theme. That's what I have here. Got just some little postal and not postal. I have some travel images here. I could use something like this, a little piece of ledger paper, lots of text, postage stamp, map. Okay. And I have this guy. This is, you know, something coming from a magazine or something. It's it's quite old and it's it's kind of starting to get a little bit um, wrinkled and lose its shape. So I want to put it down on something. I try to look at putting it this way, but he's too tall and I don't want to cut off too much at the bottom. So it looks like I'm going to do it this way. I want enough pieces for decorating both sides. Um, obviously, I'll start with one side. If I have him facing this way, then I want to put a few things behind him. So I could do something like this and then something like this on the top. If I want to do something, change the orientation this way, I can do that. This is quite busy, so I think I'm not gonna use this one. What else can I use? Okay, that would definitely work. I like those colors. Now, do I want the text going that way or this way? This one is not long enough, I think. It gets cut off down here. Let me look for another one. So right now I'm just playing around with papers. I don't have to glue anything down just yet. Not until I figure out the correct layout. Okay, that also works. I think I will do that. Let me glue this down first. Before I push it down, I have these cigar labels. I want to stick one here. Now I can already see that there's some pieces that are sticking up. I have to be super careful with this because if I put this postcard through the regular mail, these types of things will catch inside the machinery that processes the postcard. So it everything needs to be nailed down really, really well. So what I like to do is after I glue my collage down, I wait several hours and then check it to make sure that everything is very well glued. 
Some people like to put a varnish over the top or a top layer, um, something like Mod Podge. I don't. I like to have papers in the original state. And then plus I don't really like the shininess that, that comes from putting on a top coat. Yes, it can protect it, um, but also it can be sticky. And so things will, papers will get stuck to it and then um, could potentially ruin your image as well. So it's up to you. If you do experiment with putting a coating of something like Mod Podge, make sure to touch it and make sure that it's not tacky. If it is tacky, there's a couple of things you can do. You can put cornstarch, a little bit of powdered cornstarch and just rub it with your fingers. Or you can also take a wax candle and rub it over it and it'll take away that tackiness as well. So it's up to you. Now, let me cut this off. I could still see that there's a gap there, probably from the layers of other of the other paper that was there. So let me just redo that. I have this little postage stamp. I might just stick that there. Let me see if there are any other stamps that I might want to use. I think I like that New York stamp. I want to use that. It's not very vintage, but the image itself is kind of in a vintage style, which is what I like and why I think that it's a good fit for this collage. I do want to use a rubber stamp. So let's do that. I want to make sure that I'm not going to touch this guy. So just, just for safety's sake, I will put that over. OK, that's fine. Now, for the back, let me blot this first of all. Make sure that no ink is going to come off. That's fine. You can also just place it on something. All right, so my choices are to create the postcard and have it this way, or the more traditional way of having the postcard this direction. So here is an example of what I have done with another kind of postcard. It's a simple piece of washi tape across the back, and then some rubber stamps. Here's my postage on the side and area to write the address. So people sometimes get caught up with what do I write on the postcard? Um, obviously it depends on who the postcard is for. If I'm mailing something to myself, which I do from time to time, I just decorate it with something pretty. It doesn't, you don't have to write yourself a note, right? Or if you wanna write, the date and the weather or something, you know, very specific about the day, the day of the week, you know, whatever. You might be thinking, well, why would you even write, create a postcard for yourself anyway? Why mail it to yourself? That's kind of ridiculous, isn't it? <laughs> no, it's not ridiculous. Um, it's not because it's gonna go through the postal system and it's gonna have some kind of markings on it and it might be a little bit dirty or it'll have some, you know, just scuffs or marks on it. It just has a little bit of wear to it when it, when it goes through. And it's kind of fun to make postcards to yourself. It's like sending a message, putting something out there into the world, right? It's, it's like you're yelling out to the world, I'm still here, I'm still creating, right? And that's, it's, it's kind of, a, just kind of a way to, to show that you're here and this is what you're doing. So I do like to, to make postcards to myself. So you can do something simple like washi tape across the top. Um, another thing that I like to do is I will just completely cover it with papers again. So something like lined. I always, I do like to have lines on the left in case I do write a note to someone. It's, it's nice when you have lines. But then on the other side, I will do something like map. And another nice thing to do is like to do three pieces 
Maybe I'll even do three pieces this way. Just interesting, just an interest, a change in, in what is what you see on the paper. So yeah, I like that. One, two, three. And I have also these little tags for writing an address on it because obviously if you write an address on here, it's not gonna show up. So this is just kind of me having fun um, with some different kinds of papers. I'm gonna glue them on really quick and then I will show you how I'm going to address it. Okay, so here it is. I have this spot up here where the hole was. So I'm going to cover it up with a piece of washi tape. So I'm basically looking for something that is gonna kind of go with the theme that I have. Um, everything's very busy. <laughs> Maybe I'll just use this. All right, so now, now I need a postage stamp. Um, actually, no, before I do postage stamp, I want to address this to myself. So I have this label, which I'm going to use, and my options are to use a white label with an address or this brown label with an address. I'll just use the white. doesn't need to be perfect, just as good as you can get. Okay, cut it out just a little bit. I always just use another separate piece of paper to press things down or, and pick up any leftover ink that may be sitting on the top. Yeah, there is some there. So my address label is there. Now I want to put something here on the left. So I am, I'm writing this to myself. So I just want to use a rubber stamp. So I'm going to put this down first and then I will see how much room is left for me to add other things onto if I want to. Now, it's up to me. I can add more washi tape at the bottom. I could add papers. It depends on how much decorating you want to do. Let's see if I have any interesting other kinds of washi tape that will do. This is very transparent. Let's see. I'm adding a new color. No, that's not the right theme. I could use red again. I don't know if I want to do flowers. Oh, what about this alphabet? This might work. I kind of like that. I'll put it down here. Okay. These are just Tim Holtz washi tapes. So on the top, I will write Junk Journal July 2023. Now the postage, I have these ordinary stamps, these postcard postage stamps. I don't have one on my desk, but it's this exact size, so I know that I can fit one right there. But I have room to add something else. So I can add anything, anything else that I want to of other kinds of postage stamps. I have this book of old postage stamps. They're all brand new, or as, ugh, not brand new. They're all unused. So if I want to, I can add some other postage stamps just for the fun of it. So sometimes I like to take these low four cent stamps and place them here as well. So I'm gonna leave space for my regular stamp, but I'm gonna add this one in here. So here's how it turned out. 
I like it. I'm looking forward to mailing it to myself. I think it's going to be so cool to receive it back and then I'll be able to stick it in my junk journal. So I don't have time to put this one through the mail and wait for it to come back. Um, but let me show you some other examples of postcards that have come through the mail. So here's what it looks like with the postage stamp on it. I also found this in my drawer, this little air mail stamp. I liked it because the orange on the top kind of matches with the orange on the barn. So it kind of just works together. So I'm going to put this in the mail today. I wanted to show you some examples of postcards that I have gotten in the past. These are ones that I got from people who I was exchanging with. I have one friend who works at a secondhand art store and she came across these postcards of the famous cats of Los Gatos and Los Gatos is where I used to live. So these are vintage postcards, real vintage postcards. And she just glued some stamps that had already been used, canceled stamps, and you know, just, just for added interest, and then put them through the mail to me. So very simple, didn't do a whole lot. Um, she added this rubber stamping, but you know, you can see it came through the mail from San Francisco, 2018. Um, here's some markings down here from the postal machines. Here's one more that she sent me. Again, you can see the, the San Francisco there and these squiggle lines, the cancellation marks. Those are really cool. She added this rubber stamp herself. So yeah, it just it just looks really, really nice. I like it. These ones are from my friend Vicky. She sent me these through her through Reno, where she's from in Nevada. So you can see it says Reno there and there's the cancellation mark. You can see this is what happens when um, sometimes this is what happens sometimes when postcards go through the machines. So stuff gets fed through this. It's like this conveyor. And it's, it's push, actually it goes this way. The rollers, you know, are, are pushing things through and sometimes the paper gets caught and pulled. Sometimes what I do is I just take a glue stick and I'll just put some glue on there and then push it back down to like fix it. But other times, you know, I just leave it as is. Cause I just like when things go through the mail. I like that it's been processed. <laughs> processed in some way. Here's some more cancellation marks and it says Reno, Nevada right in there, right? So yes, I do enjoy sending and receiving postcards, including sending cards to myself. So I hope that you got some ideas with this and that you will create something. Put it through the mail for the prompt of postcard for Junk Journal July. And then when it comes, you can stick it in your junk journal, just like that. Thanks so much for watching.